created. So first, how to install it. Go to the Yuzu site, yuzuemu.org and simply go to the download section here. Here it says download for Windows. Um, if you're on Linux, click the view uh, packaging. So click download for Windows and it is 64-bit of course. And it will download, as you can see, I already have it installed and place it in whatever you want. I'm going to um, replace it, so click yes. Open up the emulator, the install package. And here you can see two versions, using Nightly and Canary. Um, at this point of development, I always recommend using Canary because it just works better. Nightly build has already reviewed and tested features and Canary has also new features. Um, an example is Super Mario Odyssey. The Nightly build doesn't even boot Mario Odyssey and it is pretty much playable in the Canary version. So make sure to check Canary and click install. Now it will download for a second. It is just 70 megabytes, so that's great. And as you can see right here, you can find them in your start menu. Click exit. And if you actually go to your start menu, you can see here Canary. Um, just a quick explanation about the maintenance tool. You can update, modify and uninstall. Not really that important, since once you open up Canary, it always checks for updates. So that's great. Once you boot it up for the first time, you get all these error messages. And you need some files from the switch. You can pull them off your own switch if you have one and if you have homebrew. And here you can see you have in switch files, product keys, shared funds and title keys. First of all select the title keys and product keys and copy them. Now you need to go to your C disk where you installed Windows. To users. Your username. And here's a tricky part. If you go to view, you can here select hidden items. If it is unchecked, you can't go where you need to go. And if it is checked, you see here app data. This is hidden, you need to go there. Double click it, double click roaming. And here scroll all the way down. Here you see Yuzu, that's a folder. And over here there isn't a folder called keys, so you need to make one yourself. Click on new, folder, and just call it keys. Once you made it, open up the folder and paste. Now go all the way back where you have your keys, the switch files, and now you need to select sharedfonts.bin. Also copy this. Now go back to your user folder, you can do this by simply pressing the back button a few times. And over here you need to make another folder, click new, folder, and you need to call it sysdata. Once you created this, you need to open it up and paste. Once you've done this, also make sure to close Yuzu. Once you have these in place, make sure to open up Canary. And as you can see, there are no error messages. You can use the emulator now as much as you want. So I'm going to um, give a quick tutorial in the settings. So once you go to emulation, you can configure. And here's all the stuff. Um, you can select all of these. I recommend checking this one because it's easier. Um, and for all of this, leave it at default. Leave it at default. You can change your birthday and stuff. It doesn't really matter. And you can also use stereo and surround sound. I don't think surround sound works great, but it should work. And one fun thing, you can also make your own user. So that's also pretty fun. Here is the input. You can actually use the Xbox controllers for this. So, for example, press A and press A on your controller. It will recognize it and you can play with your controller. That's a nice feature. Here at the graphics, I always recommend having these settings. So speed limit is 100%. You could use higher, but I don't recommend it because it will use a lot of GPU power. And always use native because it is an early development. And if you use higher stuff, it will run poorly. For the audio, just leave it at auto. Um, don't mess with the debug stuff. And if you want to help the user guys out, you can make an account and share some data with them, which is pretty nice. 
So now press OK. Go to File. And here select your game direction. Um, mine is automatically in the app data stuff. But I made a little file myself. In Switch and ROMs. So this is just a folder. Select folder. And as you can see my games will automatically load up. After them it will say not tested. And here's one thing I want to point out. Two files which are supported are XCI and .nsp. These files work and they are available to dump from your own switch. And I'm not going to give any links to any download page, but they are available online. So I won't share any links, nor do I support piracy. Let's get into Super Mario and see if it works. So you can just double click it and the game will launch. The boot up isn't the fastest and of course the game isn't greatly playable and you can see in the bottom right corner the FPS which is around 10 FPS to 20 FPS. 